ಸದಾಶಿವ ಸಂಭ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರ I welcome you all with my love and respects. Today's subject, you are beyond suffering. Understand, when I say you are nothing but suffering, when i say you are beyond suffering both are truth if you identify yourself as you understand you are nothing but suffering if you identify yourself as i understand you you are beyond suffering but between these two is the problem today i was explaining the important process consciousness is lighter than anything in the nature it is lighter than the ether so it always levitates pulls you up matter earth pulls you down gravitation and levitation both are constantly happening in your body in your nervous system the friction between the gravitation and levitation is thoughts that friction is what is called thoughts if that friction is felt in muladhara too much gravity so grass starts if the friction is felt little higher swadhishtana less starts even then it is not subtle grass level only if the friction is felt in manipuraga your little more pure means less starts the friction is felt in anagata little less thoughts where majority of the time the friction is felt in your system plays a major role in your mental setup basically you are beyond suffering your nervous system may have any number of thoughts any ways any friction between this levitation and gravitation but you are beyond suffering you just need a simple common sense which is most uncommon thing and that's all nothing else simple common sense to identify yourself with the truth i am not even asking you should become enlightened only then you can understand no how much you know that much identify with it it's like a, the levitation does not happen immediately in sasrara no it happens step by step
But unfortunately, we have too much greed. As I said the other day, you don't have so much suffering when you remember these billionaires. But you have too much suffering when you remember the people who are happy than you because you think happiness is your birthright. It is your birthright if you work for it. Not just like that because you are born and you have a body and you have a brain does not mean the brain has to function. There are so many people whose brain doesn't function. They all live in the planet Earth. All you need is just simple common sense. I can tell you. The Upanishad declares Pragnanam Brahma. Intelligence is God. I can declare common sense is God. Simple common sense is God. I can tell you, simple common sense can alter even the way your body behaves. Whenever these people come with deep depression, when I see their energy, somehow that common sense is missing. Means a simple readiness to change your decisions and your ideas. Come on, be far life. Don't be stuck with a strong, useless loss. If somebody is not interested with, to be in your life, just give them a farewell. Over. Moment. And if something is not working out, just change your idea, over. Somehow when I say this, people come, oh, how can this be? <laughs> Pragnanam Brahma. Common sense is God. When I say common sense, understand what I mean. Simply, be light, be liquid, to change. This is the way. Okay. What is there? Come on. Be simple. Life over. That's all. Be liquid. Just have simple common sense. You will just flow with it. You will just flow with it. Common sense is God. A simple, liquid, free-flowing type. Ah, this is the way now life is what can be done. Let us be intelligent. Let us adapt. Let's live. But somehow people feel this is a too big achievement. No. Common sense is God. This is the first truth I want to tell you. The moment you understand common sense is God, you are beyond suffering. Whatever Padanjali want to tell in today's sutra, I reduce it to this one sutra. Common sense is God. That's a mantra. You should just sit and chant that. Common sense is God, common sense is God, common sense is God, common sense is God. Nothing else. Understand? Eh, life is like this. Why are you bringing those big, big ideas? That's the way I should be, I would have been. I and bring that and add and this, that. Uh, I have few lines for you. About law of common sense. Our common sense laws. The law of precaution. Never accept a drink from urologist. <laughs> the law of reality. Never get into fights with ugly people. They have nothing to lose. 
द ला ऑफ मोटिवेशन क्रिएटिविटी इज ग्रेट बट प्लेगरिज्म इज फास्टर ला ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ही हु हैज द मोस्ट गेट्स मोर ला ऑफ ड्रंकननेस यू कॉन्ट फॉल ऑफ द फ्लोर ला ऑफ वॉलंटियरिंग इन ध्यान पीटम people are always available till you need them <laughs> law of misfortune for every spiritual teacher there is an equal and opposite set of disciples <laughs> murphy's law of gurus whatever can go wrong with your disciple will go wrong law of unfair exchange you get the guru and guru gets you <laughs> come on let's come back to the last no sky is laughing with us <laughs> seekers law the more you are ready to lose the more you stand to gain finally law of enlightenment or law of enlightened ones even if you impress on him he will liberate you you are beyond suffering <laughs> come on let's get into what padanjali wants to say today to us the yesterday sutra i'll just repeat heyam dukkham anagatam yesterday sutra as i said the moment you know the future suffering suffering ends suffering just ends the today sutra the next sutra second chapter 17th sutra drishta drishtayoh drishyayoh sorry drishta drishyayoh samyogah heya hetuh wow vivekananda translates this as the cause of that misery which is to be avoided is the junction of the seer and seen pravananda translates as this pain is caused by false identification of the experiencer with the object of experience it may be avoided sachidananda translates as the cause of that avoidable pain is the uni union of the seer and the seen wow vivekananda says it is junction of the seer and the seen swami sachidananda says it is the union of the seer and the seen swami prohit says the link between the seer and the seen creates misery is to be broken wow let me express what i feel with this sutra the cause of suffering is because of the levitation and gravitation both happening in your system means chit and jata the consciousness and matter both pulling you this side and that side in your nervous system see there are two ways the tps can come down either if the levitation comes down gravitation becomes more thoughts will come down that's what is depression 
dead rock nothing else just like a rock but there is another one way gravitation coming down more levitation less starts per second that's what is sattva enlightenment understand more gravitation less levitation is tamas levitation and gravitation fighting on your nervous system rajas and more levitation less gravitation is sattva in both ends less starts but the right solution is the higher end more levitation suffering happens because of this chit and jata is fighting with each other the seer and seen are overlapping each other the identification misidentification of the seer as seen and seen as the seer chit as jata and jata as sit chit that is responsible for all sufferings that is why i say common sense is god just be clear what is seen and what is seer what is seen and what is seer always decide for life don't decide for suffering no just vote for life always vote for life choose life pick up life either you pick up life or lie that is life even if you pick up pain suffering you are picking up something which is not going to be there i tell you honestly i am not interested in making you not to pick up pain no i am interested in you you not picking up lies pain is lie that when you pick up pain you really pick up a lie that is what it means that is why i am saying don't pick up pain and one more thing when you pick up pain you will go on giving pain to others when you have a headache when you say you have a headache you mean you are going to give that's what it means so i have a dictionary for you guys what is the meaning of different words what men say and what they really mean i can say what your mind says and what it really means i can't find it really means it did not fall into my outstretched hands so i am completely clueless that's women's work really means it is dirty difficult and thankless will you marry me really means both my roommates have moved out the washing machine is broken and there is no food in the fridge can i help with the dinner really means why is not it already on the table i am getting more exercise lately really means the batteries in the remote control are dead we are going to be late really means now i have a legitimate excuse to drive like a maniac <laughs> take a break dear you are working too hard really means i can't watch tv in peace because of the noise your vacuum cleaner is making <laughs> that's interesting dear really means are you still talking
darling we don't need any material things to prove our love really means i forgot our anniversary again <laughs> you expect too much of me really means you want me to stay awake it's a really a good movie really means it has got guns knives fast cars i do help around the house really means i once threw a dirty towel near the laundry basket what did i do this time really means what did you catch me doing <laughs> she's a terrible feminist really means she refused to make my coffee <laughs> when your mind says what it really means find out i can say oh my mind is trying to protect my status my prestige fool it is just putting you in suffering there is no status or standard i i, I tell you anything can be sacrificed for life means joyful life nothing for no reason you should sacrifice joyful life this is a basic law basic law that is what i mean the difference between the seer and seen krishna says very beautifully anything you sacrifice for me you will have me and what you sacrificed also for anything you sacrifice me not only you will not have me you will not have that also <laughs> i can tell you i also repeat the same word whoever has sacrificed me for anything not only they will not have me they will not have that also whoever has sacrificed anything for me not only they will have me they will have that also that's all it's a truth it's ultimate truth anything you sacrifice for life i just eh, did not even bother about this prestige and all this foolish nonsense and life is there so beautiful a strong clear understanding about life just simple common sense so when your mind says it is protecting you it means it is putting you in suffering that is what it means understand this one word this padanjali is one word heya hetuhu which can be avoided is caused by the samyoga overlapping of the seen and seer chit and jata levitation and gravitation the space you carry inside you when it is covered by time it is gravitation the time which is there in you if it is covered by space it is levitation that's all 
if the time overtakes it is gravitation the space overtakes it is levitation that is why i say a small slight loose a reduction in the gravitation is going to cause a huge change in the psychological system of human beings the nervous system of human beings and the levitation will become more possible the consciousness will become more alive the chit is more shining choosing the pain can be stopped by itself as i was explaining today in the sessions the astronauts tibetians both are in a space where the gravity is little less but tibetians are trained to be in less thought space so they become enlightened they celebrate less thought space when you celebrate even moment of less thought space in you cherish it remember it enjoy it rejoice it it will happen again and again in you you will become enlightened but if you feel heavy about less thought so what happened from morning i am so silent nothing is happening are you are getting into sail peace no 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 maybe i am depressed i don't know why i am depressed now i know two leaves in the tree has become dark and it is about to fall you will find out a reason drash drashtra drishtayo drishayo sorry drashtra drishayo means when the seer is mistaken at the scene or the scene is mistaken as the seer starts suffering how to be a seer without having the samyoga over the scene samyoga means overlapping union or feeling associated feeling connected how just be a seer without seeing that's all that is today's mahavakya process now sit without seeing anything inside if you see anything drop it no i can't i want a space where i don't see anything negate 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 anything seen is dangerous so be in the space of seer not seeing anything Yeah.